Welcome to the Red Tech Daily Podcast, powered by AI. I'm your host, Marguerite Clark, bringing you the latest news and insights from the global radio broadcast and digital audio industries. Today, we'll dive into some exciting innovations and updates from IBC 2024, including groundbreaking developments from RCS, Jutel, Enco, Nautil, and more. Let's get started. At IBC 2024, we posed a unique challenge to tech manufacturers and suppliers. Pitch your latest technology to our global audience within two minutes, the equivalent of a single bracket of four 30-second radio ads. This is valuable airtime. And while talking about something you're passionate about for two minutes may seem relatively easy, it is tougher than it sounds. Most participants did well, but some truly stood out. One standout was RCS, a company specializing in innovative cloud-based solutions for radio stations. RCS CEO Filipe Generali took the stage to discuss how the company is helping radio stations transition to modern, cost-effective operations using their Zeta and Selector software, alongside other innovative cloud-based solutions. Generali explained that RCS's Zeta software is designed to streamline the entire radio broadcast workflow. From scheduling to playout, Zeta offers a comprehensive solution that integrates seamlessly with RCS's selector software, widely regarded as the industry standard for music scheduling. Together, these tools provide a robust, cloud-based platform that enables radio stations to operate more efficiently and effectively. The transition to cloud-based solutions is not just about cost savings, Generali emphasized. It is also about flexibility and scalability. With Zeta and Selector in the cloud, radio stations can easily scale their operations up or down based on their needs without the hassle of managing physical hardware. This flexibility is particularly beneficial for stations looking to expand their reach or adapt to changing market conditions quickly. Generali also highlighted the importance of security in cloud-based operations. RCS has invested heavily in ensuring that their cloud solutions are secure and reliable. With robust encryption and regular security updates, stations can be confident that their data is protected. For those interested in seeing Generali's full presentation, you can watch the video on our YouTube channel. The video offers a more in-depth look at how RCS is revolutionizing radio station operations with its cutting-edge cloud-based solutions. At IBC 2024, we challenged tech manufacturers and suppliers to pitch their latest technology to our global audience within two minutes. Among the standout presentations was from Olipeka Lukarinen of Jutel, who showcased their RadioMan 100% browser-based radio automation platform and Clipper AI, a new generation mobile and web audio production platform. RadioMan and Clipper AI ensure minimal infrastructure requirements and streamline support and maintenance. They are available as a service or on-premises, offering seamless, location-independent audio production. You can watch the video of Lukarinen's presentation on our YouTube channel for a more in-depth look at how Jutel is revolutionizing radio automation and audio production. One of the standout presentations at IBC 2024 came from Ken Frommert of ENGSO, who introduced Speedtie, an artificial intelligence-powered tool designed to transform ad sales for radio account executives. Speedtie enables users to create custom spec spots effortlessly using just a mobile device, significantly streamlining the ad sales process. Frommert's two-minute pitch effectively highlighted the tool's ease of use and its potential to revolutionize how radio ads are created and sold. For a more detailed look at Speedtie and its features, you can watch Frommert's presentation on our YouTube channel. At IBC 2024, we challenged tech manufacturers and suppliers to pitch their latest technology to our global audience within two minutes, the equivalent of a single bracket of four 30-second radio ads. This is valuable airtime, and while talking about something you are passionate about for two minutes may seem relatively easy, it is tougher than it sounds. Most participants did well, but some truly stood out. One such standout was Nautel, who discussed their innovative solutions in radio broadcast transmission. Nautel's advanced AM and FM transmitters and cutting-edge technologies are designed to enhance both efficiency and revenue for broadcasters. Among the technologies highlighted were AM transmitters equipped with MDCL technology, which reduce carrier levels and boost efficiency by up to 70%. For those interested, you can watch the video of Nautil's presentation on our YouTube channel, It offers a more detailed look at how Noddle is pushing the boundaries of transmission innovation.
At IBC 2024, a groundbreaking 5G broadcast demonstration was showcased involving a collaboration between broadcast partners, Dutch public broadcaster Nederlandse Publica Omrope, transmitter maker Sias, transmission support equipment maker Comtech, and Austrian digital media distribution specialist Nakalos. The demonstration featured 5G broadcasting for NPO1 and NPO3 FM via the 150-meter-high Selnex RAI Amsterdam Broadcasting Tower, accessible both indoors and outdoors during the event. NPO Chief Technology Officer Gildert de Groot highlighted 5G broadcast's potential to integrate live video and audio into smartphones while significantly reducing mobile data usage. He also emphasized broadcast's critical role in emergency communication due to its robust independent network, high availability, and lower vulnerability to cyber attacks. This marks the first instance of 5G broadcast in the Netherlands, and 5G broadcast reception-capable smartphones were also demonstrated at the show. IBC 2024 not only met but exceeded expectations, boasting a 4.6% increase in visitors, 8% more exhibitors, and a 3.3% rise in exhibition space compared to last year. The event drew over 45,000 attendees with peak attendance on Saturday and Sunday and a noticeable uptick on the remaining days. A key theme was artificial intelligence, which has transitioned from theoretical to practical applications. Thimon de Jong, founder of Weston, likened today's AI anxieties to those surrounding the Internet in 1997, emphasizing that while we sense AI's potential, its full impact remains to be seen. The conference also featured a fascinating experiment by RTVE Lab, which secretly included an AI-composed classical piece in a public concert, revealing intriguing shifts in audience reactions. Environmental sustainability was another focal point, with UK gas network operator Arkiva switching to a good enough engineering approach, reducing energy consumption by 12% without compromising listener experience. The Coalition for Content Provenance and Authenticity, C2PA, also highlighted efforts to combat disinformation. Overall, IBC 2024 showcased advancements promising greater flexibility, efficiency, and value for money in the audio broadcasting industry. The National Association of Broadcasters is now accepting proposals for technical papers and panels for the 2025 Broadcast Engineering and IT Conference, which will take place from April 5th to 9th, 2025 at the Las Vegas Convention Center. Exhibits will be open from April 6th to 9th. This conference offers a prime opportunity for professionals in the broadcast, media, and information technology industries to share their expertise and innovations at one of the leading events in the field, targeting a broad audience that includes broadcast engineers, technicians, technology managers, developers, contractors, equipment manufacturers, consultants, and researchers. The conference will focus on current and future trends in radio, television, digital media, and the wider media and IT landscape. According to John Clark, Senior Vice President of NAB Emerging Technology and Executive Director of Pilot, the NAB show continues to be the premier destination for professionals in broadcast engineering and IT. The BEAT conference is critical in fostering innovation, and a diverse range of groundbreaking work is expected to be presented in 2025 from both established professionals and emerging talent. Submission topics should relate to one of several focus areas, such as broadcast radio, broadcast television, facility design, digital online operations, audio and video technology, cybersecurity, generative artificial intelligence, or environmental, social, and governance issues in broadcasting. Technical regulatory issues and the use of broadcast signals for positioning, navigation, and timing will also be considered. A full list of submission topics is available on the official call for proposals page. Papers selected for presentation at the conference will also be published in the proceedings of the 2025 NAB BAIT conference. Proposals must be submitted by Friday, November 8, 2024, and late or incomplete proposals will not be accepted. Notifications will be sent to selected presenters by January 17, 2025. The NAB show is committed to promoting diverse voices and perspectives and encourages professionals from various backgrounds to submit proposals. Papers that explain the technical aspects of new broadcast products or services will be considered, although proposals promoting specific products or services will not. A special call for student paper submissions has also been issued. The best student paper will receive travel support to attend the NAB show and recognition during the event. Broadcast Electronics has unveiled its new ETX Compact FM transmitter, a product that promises to deliver high efficiency and exceptional radio frequency performance while significantly reducing operational and maintenance costs. Owned by the Alenos Group, Broadcast Electronics has drawn on the capabilities of its popular BE STX line and the cost-effective Alenos ETG transmitters to create the ETX line. 
available in power levels of 600 watts, 1 kilowatt, 2 kilowatts, 3 kilowatts, and 5 kilowatts. The ETX features hot swappable power supplies, an onboard digital modulator, a radio data system encoder, a digital stereo generator, a micro SD card reader, and remote operation capabilities. Rich Redmond, President and Chief Operating Officer of Broadcast Electronics, emphasized that the ETX enables broadcasters to achieve high performance without compromising on cost effectiveness. The ETX also offers integrated options like multiband audio processing, internet protocol codecs including MMPX, and an off-air rebroadcast receiver, adding up to substantial savings for broadcasters. The product is backed by Broadcast Electronics' renowned U.S.-based support. At IBC 2T24, we challenged tech manufacturers and suppliers to pitch their latest tech to our global audience within two minutes, the equivalent of a single bracket of four 30-second radio ads. That's valuable airtime. Talking about something you're passionate about for two minutes may seem relatively easy, but it's harder than it sounds. Most did well, some far better than others. Here, we hear about Aqua Broadcast's Cobalt FM transmitter range, which features superior audio quality and sound clarity thanks to its direct-to-channel digital technology. You can watch the video on our YouTube channel for a more detailed look at Aqua Broadcast's innovative offering. At IBC 2024, we challenge tech manufacturers and suppliers to pitch their latest tech to our global audience within two minutes, the equivalent of a single bracket of four 30-second radio ads. That's valuable airtime. Talking about something you're passionate about for two minutes may seem relatively easy, but it's harder than it sounds. Most did well, some far better than others. Here, Lawo's Johan Bockvist showcases two innovative products for radio applications and users, the new Crystal Broadcast Console and the Crystal Clear Interface. The new Crystal is a highly versatile console for on-air and podcast applications. The newly updated Crystal Clear on-air control interface offers broadcasters an elegant and intuitive virtual control solution designed to transform how radio content is created and delivered, whether in the studio or remotely. You can watch the video of Johan Bofist's presentation on our YouTube channel for a more detailed look at how LAWO is pushing the boundaries of broadcast technology. That wraps up today's episode of the Red Tech Daily Podcast, powered by AI. Thank you for joining us. For more detailed articles on these stories and the latest updates in the global radio broadcast and digital audio industries, visit our website at redtech.pro. Until next time, this is Marguerite Clark signing off.